The California State Senate passed a controversial reform to its sex offender registry Monday that would allow a young adult who has gay sex with a minor to escape registering, in some cases, for the uh, sex offender registry, based on a judge's discretion. SB 145 finally passed the 40-member state Senate by a vote of 23 to 10 um, after being introduced by California State Senator Scott Weiner. Uh, Weiner argued that the current law discriminates against LGBT youth because, as the Chronicle explained, under current law, a judge can decide whether to place a man who has vaginal intercourse with an underage teenage girl on the sex offender registry based on the facts of the case. But if anal or oral sex or vaginal penetration with anything other than a penis is involved, the adult must register as a sex offender. Um, under SB 145, if a young adult has gay sex with a minor, with a minor 14 or older who is less than ton, 10 years younger, a judge will have the discretion whether to place the individual on the sex offender registry. Okay, and as you heard there, the justification being given for this is that um, in, in some cases, when a heterosexual man vaginally rapes a child, uh, they are not put on the sex offender registry. And so as Wiener is arguing here, the same should go for gay men. Um, I don't think I, I, I really don't think I need to spend time explaining the problem with this logic. But I, you know, I spend most of my show explaining logic that probably doesn't need to be explained. So we'll do it here too. The obvious problem here is, 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 is uh, if you're going to pass a bill to address this disparity, the bill should be a, uh, one that, that ensures that men who vaginally rape children go to jail and are treated and are treated more harshly than they are. That's the problem. Okay? That's, that's what we need to address. If in California there could be cases where a 24, because this, this is the implications, you could have a 24-year-old man raping a 14-year-old child, and they, they might not go on the sex offender registry for that. That's the way the law is set up. At least if it's vaginal rape, you know, man, woman, vaginal rape. Um, or man, child, I should say. Okay, well, yes, I agree. Let's pass a law about that. But let's pass a law that does away with that insanity and ensures that a man who does that goes to prison. How about, I don't know, forever? You know, at a minimum? I can think of harsher penalties also that we could consider. But no, what uh, what the Democrats are saying is, no, let, let's make it even. What they're saying is, if this kind of child rape is legal, then this kind of child rape over here should also be legal. What kind of degenerate lunacy is that? And this guy has, you know, he, he's going around in the media uh, complaining and making a martyr of himself because all the death threats he's getting. Of course, death threats are bad. Nobody... Uh, supports death threats, but if people are angry at him, it's because he's trying to decriminalize certain forms of child rape. And the argument he's making in favor of it is that, well, that kind is legal. Disgusting, ridiculous, repulsive, but that's the Democrat Party for you. That's the Democrat Party, um, not just in California, but everywhere. Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.